I want to have babies. You want to have babies? It's every man's right to have babies if he wants them. But you can't have babies! Don't you oppress me. This used to be satire. Now they're trying to pass it off as reality. And there's some major corporations with new woke ads that are pretending this is reality. Welcome back to the JP React channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friend. This is where we like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants and Satan. Shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, and there are many. And highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. So hot off the presses as we explore how satire, what used to be satire, is now reality, if you're willing to believe it. I, for one, I like to see satire as satire and not pretend it's reality. So with that, there are some major corporations with new advertisements. Apparently nobody in their marketing department have told them, if you go woke, you go broke. But Ben and Jerry says, hold my ice cream, because we got one for you. <laughs> Ben and Jerry's. Let's take a look at their new short ad. Progress comes in many flavors. You can make progress by doing the things you love. Whoa, Ben and Jerry's. I believe that is a pride rally with naked people in it, presumably with children present. Okay. Well, thank you for letting us know what you stand for, Ben and Jerry's, and what we support when we buy your products. Very helpful. If you can farm, fight food deserts. If you can surf, surf for racial BLM. That's that organization is corrupt. Oh, thank you, Ben and Jerry's. Justice. Like to read? Start a band book club. Band book club. Start a band book club. Presumably meaning books that uh, school districts and governors are not allowing in schools because they are highly sexual in content. So that's the kind of book club you're telling people to start. Ben and Jerry's with a child present. Protest with an ice cream cone or project new meaning on an outdated statue. Get in a costume. Which, by the way, we're going to uh, hit the rewind button there. Uh, that fist, uh, I think that's an Antifa symbol. Try not to get arrested. You have the tools for doing good. And the greatest tool is your own unique flavor. Ben and Jerry's. Make some mother chunk and change. I am somewhat of a regular connoisseur of ice cream. Anywhere from once or twice a week, I grab myself a pint and have 100 grams of sugar all in one go. And being honest, Cherry Garcia from Ben & Jerry's has been one of my go-tos. And with this ad, it's not going to be one of my go-tos anymore. We all have freedom. You know, you could watch this ad and be like, eh, that's stupid, but I'm still going to buy their ice cream if you want to. Personally, this ad very much motivates me. Not to, because uh, I don't want to support this. The principle of it is like, ooh, I, well, I like their ice cream, but I don't like this. And I realize I don't want to give my money to a company that does this. It's like the Bud Light effect, obviously. So that's my choice. So they're... <laughs> Ben and Jerry's, at least for this guy, their marketing department has been uh, good at launching this anti-sales campaign. But wait, there's more. Alaska Airlines says, Ben and Jerry's, that's nothing. So Alaska Airlines, when they're not busy having their airplane doors fly off the plane mid-flight, they're busy prioritizing their energy, not to safety or efficiency or better service, but to advertisements like this. Pride Month to me means celebrating all the different parts of me that for the longest time society made me feel shame of. So presumably is sexuality. I would say this to Alaska Airlines, any other company or any other person. I don't need to know about your sexual orientation, your preferences. Like if you're heterosexual, I don't need to know about that. I'm not going to sit here and be like, hey, uh, my name's JP and doggy style is my favorite. Uh, I need you to know that. Now, would you like to buy some of my apparel now that you know the important things? Hi, I'm Fabiano and yes, I'm gay. <laughs> no matter how. And I say this with all due respect, I don't care. Like, again, I don't care gay if he's heterosexual. What really makes me uh, curious here is why does Alaska Airlines think they need to sh shove the sexualization of their company into your face. Like other people look at me or, you know, people judge, I always try to prove for myself. My name is Marcy and I am fabulous. I identify more with the term queer at this stage in my life. Say more about what that means. I've never heard anybody explain it in a logical way. Really interesting because I always was always like, oh, you're bisexual. I'm bold. I'm loyal. 
I'm also a person who's unafraid. I'm Jay, and I work in our public affairs department. Cool. Queer. No, thank you, Alaska Airlines. That's helpful. Slay. <laughs> when I first transitioned, I realized very quickly that my I am became about my community. I am Jessica, a pilot with Alaska Airlines and a proud transgender woman. Happy Pride, y'all. Welcome aboard. My name is Yoni, and I am an ally. Oh, Yoni. That is, I think, Sanskrit for female parts. So great name. Pride is important because we all belong and we all are important. That doesn't add up for me. Pride's important because we all belong and we're all important. That's kind of like human condition, like you matter, period. My name is Trista and I'm a Filipina transgender woman. Wow. Life's too short to not be your authentic self. He pulls that off pretty good. I am a gay man. I am who I want to be. Someone who loves people, someone who cares for others. I am who I am because of you. I am Alaska. I am Alaska. Cool. <laughs> like I, I, what matters to me as a person who flies a lot and gives a lot of business to airlines is, are your planes safe? Do they get me where I'm going on time? Is the flight schedule decent? Is the service decent? Never have I once, do this flight that's on time and it, it was a reasonable price. I don't like this airline because I don't know the sexual orientation and the sexual habits of all the employees. How can I fly not knowing what sexual position or who the employees want to have sex with? Ah, oh, I just can't do business with an airline that, well, just functions as an airline. They're not sexualizing anything. Now, oh, speaking of gender and sexualization, take a listen of Biden coming out as a black woman, apparently, on a radio interview he did, I believe, a Philadelphia radio station. Have a listen. We'll get back to the video in just a second, but first, I want to say we are seeing an incredible Great Awakening in our country. I mean, just in the past six months alone, only 225 conspiracy theories have been proven true, but who's counting? And one of these topics is all the indisputable data coming out about the medical experiment that they psychologically coerce 80% of the population into getting. So watch this. We're using these now broadly in combination. Uh, our first publication was in the Journal of American Physicians and Surgeons. Second one was the Springer Nature Journal, a curious journal of biomedical sciences. It's now copyrighted, trademark as the McCullough Protocol base spike protein detoxification, meaning it's a base. We can increase doses of them. We can add other products to them. We can tailor it to the patient's problem. But most people who've had one or more episodes of SARS-CoV-2 infection with some symptoms, and certainly I think everybody who's taken one of these vaccines should play it safe and go on McCullough Protocol base spike protein detoxification. These are widely available in any natural store, Amazon, online retailers, wellness company, I think makes the best in class product, it's nanokinase, is combined with five minor ingredients, which play an assistive role and all have supportive data like black sativa extract, and iris sea moss, and dandelion extract. So you can actually find data to support them. So spike support, you get the nanokinase, plus you get a lot more, and then adding in the bromelain and curcumin. So I, I can tell you, I broadly recommend that to my patients. It takes a long time to detoxify. People have had this in their body for a couple of years. And I tell them, please don't expect this is going to be over within two weeks. The Spike Detox Trio is being used around the world to help people. And the most fascinating part is it's 100% natural. The recommendation by the wellness company's medical board is to do a three to six month regimen. Say goodbye to those man-made spike proteins by going to twc.health slash jpreacts and use code jpreacts to get 15% off. Your body will thank you. Now back to the video. By the way, I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, the first black woman, black president. Oh, first black woman. Cool. Now, presumably, we could sit here and say, yeah, he said that, but that's not what he meant. Yeah, but also he said that. Like, we can't always be doing this decoding thing. Like, well, he said that, but what did he really mean? He meant something very different. No, at a certain point, you just say, you're responsible for the words you say. And he did in fact say he is a black woman. So congratulations to Biden for coming out, upgrading his status. Uh, he gets more oppressive points and also leave it to the internet to capitalize. What do I mean by that? Well, within a matter of minutes of Biden announcing publicly that he's a black woman, which a lot of people actually aren't believing. And I say, let the man live his truth. But within a matter of minutes, someone on the internet Internet did this. Take a look. Come on, check this out. <laughs> it 
And you might say that's terrible. Well, no, that's a visual representation of what the leader of the free world said. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, this kind of thing used to be satire. Now it's trying to be passed off by companies, narrative writers as reality. And we know it's not, but the only question is who's buying into it? Who's being compliant? with this reality. Some are. So there is a phenomenal short Monty Python clip from 1979 doing this, what Alaska Airlines is doing, Ben and Jerry's doing, now President Biden is doing. What they're trying to do is reality. Monty Python was doing it as satire because guess what? It is satire. It's just in 1979, it was acknowledged as such. Take a look at this funny clip. Why are you always on about women, Stan? I want to be one. What? I want to be a woman. From now on, I want you all to call me Loretta. What? It's my right as a man. Well, why do you want to be Loretta, Stan? I want to have babies. You want to have babies? It's every man's right to have babies if he wants them. But you can't have babies! You can't have babies. Like, that would get a show cancelled now. Do you oppress me? I'm not oppressing you, Stan. You haven't got a womb. Where's the fetus gonna just take? You're gonna keep it in a box? Th these are questions that medical science still hasn't answered yet. Here, I've got an idea. Suppose you agree that he can't actually have babies, not having a womb, which is nobody's fault, not even the Romans, but that he can have the right to have babies. Good idea, Judith. We shall fight the oppressors for your right to have babies, brother. Sister. Sorry. What's the point? What's the point of fighting for his right to have babies when he can't have babies? It is symbolic of our struggle against oppression. Symbolic of his struggle against reality. Symbolic of his struggle against reality. Have we gone completely crazy as a society? I would say, yeah, some people absolutely have. And the craziness is something inherently our minds are too intelligent to buy into. But if you are compliant, if you obey, you're not just obeying on like stay in your house and take this shot kind of thing. You are obeying to surrender the sovereignty of your mind, to buy into something that has no basis in reality. And thus, a lot of people have, at a thought level, complied their way into crazy. But in this respect, crazy is a choice. You and I can choose to continue to be free thinkers and... That gives us principal immunity against this crazy. And I do recommend natural immunity for that. So anyway, let me know about your thoughts. Have we gone completely crazy? We saw some new examples today. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. I'll look forward to reading those. And I'll also look forward to seeing you on our next video. But until then, you should also become a black woman.